Welcome to another episode of the Back Catalog Podcast. This is the podcast where we, and by we I mean me, Apple, my co-host, slash co-founder Vincent, we dive into the Disney Plus streaming service and we tell you, the listener and the viewer, what is worth it and what is not. And today we're back again doing another episode of What If We Wrote What If, episode whatever episode we're up to. I think it's eight. Episode eight. I think it's eight, yes. That's exactly right. So, Vincent, we're here. It's, it's, I'm looking around. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've been in these chairs. Yeah, we've redecorated, as you can see. Bro, it's, there's decorations. It's decorations. You know? So yeah. if, you, if you can't tell what's changed, then just go back and watch a few of the other episodes and then, and then you'll see. And like watch at least five minutes of them. Yeah, yeah. You know and get I mean? the statistics up. You've got to get the Because if you're there already, you might as well help us out. If you're going to be here, you may as well do those things that help us out. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Now, I'm stolen a bit because I just realized I forgot to actually search it up when we were talking. That's earlier. okay. That's okay. You can stall. But hey, Vincent, guess what? We're here, man. And, and, here. It's, and it's good times. And today we're doing episode eight. We're actually rewriting episode eight. Yeah. What if Ultron won? Let me give you the synopsis and then we'll get into what we think is going to happen in this episode. And then we'll watch the episode. Not with you. We'll watch it separately. We could though. You could like pause the video and then watch it with us. You could. That's right. But we we we're not going to be recording us re- watching the video because it'll just be like, oh, bro, you for real? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness! That's what it'll be. <laughs> bro, he really won. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like we know he's going to win. That's, yeah, that's five right. points for exactly. us. Exactly. So Natasha Romanoff and Clint Barton seek to destroy Killer Robot Ultron following a cataclysmic event. And after we watch it, we'll come back and we'll judge our predictions and we'll also review the episode. Yes, yeah, that's what I we f- do. I yeah. forgot to. <laughs> but that's all right. Now, Vincent, we already know that we're going to get five points because we know that Ultron is going to win. Yeah. And I'm assuming Ultron is going to win in the, the battle that we saw in the Age of Ultron. You reckon he's going to win in the battle? I reckon it's going to be before that. You reckon he's going to get it done early? I reckon he's going to. Well, if, okay, so I'm just going, going by the previous episodes in how they turned out. Yeah. We all thought, oh, yeah, no, nah, it's going to be the big event. that, that that'll be the change. Mm-hmm. Nah, man. Right. Right from the start. Tony Stark, right from the, right from the start. <laughs> the, uh, the zombie event, right from the start. Right from the start. Yeah, yeah, just all of them right from the start. I think it was just the, what's, yeah, anyway. That's right, but I understand, you know, where you're going. So let's say it's right from the start. They make Ultron, he's just like, he starts chopping heads off. Yeah. They said, bro, we made him too good. <laughs> we gave him arms too quickly. He doesn't come out saying no strings on me. He just comes out just putting strings on people. That's right. And that's what will happen. Yeah. He will win and he'll be, he'll, the whole world, he'll just be putting strings on people. There'll be just puppets everywhere. Now, we, we saw the picture he had Ultron with, which, with, with Infinity with, Stones. With Infinity yeah, Stones. that's the, uh, that's and, the little thumbnail here. And, and he said a cataclysmic event in the thing. He also looks kind of like Vision. Bro, 100% they're going to have... No, nah, this is what happens, man. Okay. They're going to try and make vision and he's going to say, hey, no, nah, that's mine. It's going to be when he tried to... When they chat. Put himself, when, they he, chat. when he tried to make himself a real boy. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did try to make himself a real yeah, boy. Yeah, with that uh, lady scientist's genetic research. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the words. <laughs> if you put those words together and like, do them, like use them a little bit better, like you'll get what you wanted to get to. <laughs> So, okay, it doesn't happen at the start. It happens at that research facility. Yep. They're trying to break in. They're trying to stop it from happening. They unfortunately miss out on that opportunity. He becomes Vision plus Ultron. He gets, he gets the best of both worlds. He's the boy and the robot. He's the boy and the robot. It's right. like if Pinocchio had, he was a real boy, but he still had wood arms. So he could just chuck, chuck them at people or something. <laughs> I don't know. You could like, yeah, you know. I mean, the human body would probably hurt because like that that wouldn't be too comfortable to just rip even wooden arms out of yourself and throw them no, but i understand not, but where you're going yeah but if you were half half man half wood you'd be throwing things at people you would of course you would yeah <laughs> <laughs> so he, he that happens he then finds a stone somehow he obviously he's got one of them he's like oh man this is one stone this is wild what if i had look all how the many stones? fingers i have on this hand <laughs> one two three four five and one on my head I must have to collect them all. He must. And it looks like he puts them on his chest. So 
then the cataclysmic event must be the snap of sorts. Mm, so why would why would Natasha Romanov and Clint Barton still be alive in the snap? Does he do Seek a half to the universe? Destroy killer robot Ultron following a cataclysmic event. Natasha Romanov and Clint Barton. Interesting. Who would did you call that international Romanov? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Did I? <laughs> no. So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, man's had to throw something he loved off. Did he just throw a hard drive or something? <laughs> Vormi's like, bro, I, I guide them to a treasure. I can't. That's all right, bro. This hard drive, it's got my first memory on there. Actually, in, in that sense, it'd probably be probably be RAM. It'd be RAM. Yeah, RAM, just like a stick of RAM. He just throws it in there. Oh, bro, for real? <laughs> that was my first memory. Bro, that was my first eight gigabyte USB. Are you serious? <laughs> it cost me like four hundred dollars in two thousand and one, bro. That was. If that happens, and then we, he wakes we... up in the pool and he's just short circuiting. <laughs> <laughs> if that happens, that he throws out. You know, some sort of electronic component. Then that's hilarious. We win. Oh, we win. That's it. If we if we do that, we've rewritten the episode. Okay. Now, Ultron is all powerful, right? He's all. He's he knows all. He's artificial intelligence. Does he find Thanos on the way to getting the stones? And he's like, "Look, don't worry about you. I'm going to do the things that you're doing, but I'm going to do it better." You know, he's think... singing that song. Anything you can do, I can do better. Because <laughs> we know that he he likes singing. He does. He likes. Does he like singing? Yeah, I'm sure singing. he does. I think he was yeah, singing. Yeah, he sings his no friends on me. You know, the, the Pinocchio song? That's right, the Pinocchio song. This is all about Pinocchio, right? Yeah, that's right. The one where he's a real boy, but he's got wood arms. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm thinking. He must find him. He mate. finds Thanos. He finds Squidward and he goes, bro, I've seen this, I've seen this before. Mm. Bikini bottom. And then he, <laughs> I don't know, smacks him and that's, he takes the stones. 100%. He takes Thanos' stones. And then he takes the Infinity Stones. <laughs> Thanos is like, bro, this is just insult to injury. <laughs> my stones, they're gone. <laughs> and my other stones, that probably could have brought back my original stones. <laughs> so, yeah, no, 100%. He, he, he goes, he finds Thanos, he takes them away. Bang, he's got the stones with him. He snaps, right? He snaps. What is he snapping, though? That's, that's what I was just thinking. What does he snap about? What is the thing that Thanos wants? Well, Th- well, I mean, Thanos wants... Thanos. Don't worry about Thanos. What is the thing that Ultron wants? Stop talking about Thanos. Let's talk about Ultron. What did, what did he want in that movie? Let me just quickly search up. What did Ultron want? The thing that I remember from watching that movie, I think it was earlier this year, or maybe late last year, and coming to the conclusion that he just wants to be a real boy. Right. So maybe he just wants all the robots to become real people. Uh, let, let me, let me, Ultron's goal to destroy humanity has brought him to repeat it. Yeah, so he just wants to destroy humanity, you know? So maybe he just destroys humanity, except for International Romanov and Klimban. <laughs> what was Ultron trying to do? He was a self-aware, self-teaching artificial intelligence created and programmed by Tony Stark and Bruce Banner from the Ultron program and used the char- Tower Receptor. Yeah, okay, but that's not telling me what... You know how they give you the, the, the first bit of the, like the, the website, but they don't tell you what you want? Like yeah, you've looked in the Google I, Answers. Anyway. I normally just scroll until I find the answer in the preview text. 100%. That says what you've got to do. Which is not normally a good way to do things. So also just straight up Wolfgang von Strucker. He, he's, he's, he could be in this. Wolf, just, Wolfgang. Yeah, Wolfgang. Uh, you're you not know, talking Mozart. There's too much. They're just giving me the whole synopsis oh. of, of Civil War. So okay. all it's telling me is that he, he wants to he is he wants to be a god. He wants to control things. He has that complex of I'm gonna be controlling things, but what is this cataclysmic event? Does Maybe he just destroys that- the earth. An international Romanov is now like <laughs> space station Romanov. <laughs> yeah, like you know, you, once you go international and you've done all the Woman's interna- gone international, yeah. woman's gonna go more than international. <laughs> She's gonna go interstellar. <laughs> She's up there chilling with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, he's crying. He's he's, he's crying. He's pull, pushing books. Dude, that's a good movie. That's a good movie. Have you seen that movie? I have. Yeah, bro, it's a good I movie. Have. It's sad, though. It is sad. Like, and if you be- do want to hear about our favourite movies, there will be a video soon or it, it's probably going to be soon. Yeah, or next week. Or next week. Whenever we have to put it up. That's right. But, Vincent, you're correct in saying that, and I trust you. You know, it's saying what you said. I reckon they could be. I reckon they could. We're just going to say it. They were interstellar at the time. And he says, I'm going to destroy everyone on Earth except for the robots. Yeah. Bang. International Romanoff's like doing 
low, <laughs> low, gravi- low gravity business. <laughs> International driving and stuff doing. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to appreciate that that joke that Apo just made, or that that just that humor, you have to watch the video. Yeah, and if you are watching the video, give it a like, hit the subscribe button. Hey, man, you know what? We're doing what all the YouTubers do: hit the bell, hit the bell, so you know whenever we bring out some content. Which is usually every week. We normally do once a week. Yeah, we had to take a break because, like, you know, man's went international. <laughs> no, nah, you know, we're, we're not that it's exciting. Did, did quarantine, you know. We only did one week, but it's all right. It's all right. Nah, you know, I, I spoke with Sco. He told me I could just do one week. Sco, you know, yeah. you know, my nonna thought it was Morris and his son? Yeah, 100%. So Scott, Morris, and his son. Yeah. Yeah. Talk- I, can, I can understand why. Yeah, and she was always going, well, why is she talking about <laughs> Morris's son? Don't we want to hear about Morris? Uh, us, uh, us, is Scott and Morris two different people as well? I don't even know. Like Scott, I don't know Morris, and his son. Uh, uh, Scott, Morris. <laughs> yeah, Scott, Mor- Scott. There's Scott. There's Morris, and then there's Morris's son. Hey, if, if you want to, if you want to know more about this, and you know, you know, you're not from the the Australian, you know, you're not this part of the internationals. Hey, you know, head over to abc.net.au, <laughs> whatever it happens to be. Slash Scott Morris and his son. <laughs> You know, AKA that fella. That, that fella, fella from down under. That fella from down under. That's that's what you know. That's him. He's the fella from down under. So anyway, cataclysmic event. They have to try to go stop he him. He just destroys the earth, I reckon. I reckon he just kills them as well. They're like, oh, you know, we're gonna stop you with my like taser taser. Kills, kills international and Clint Barton. hundred percent, yeah. But 100%. They're, they're, they seek to destroy the kill robot Ultron. Exactly. That's what they want you to believe. Oh that they're trying to pull fast one on us. They're trying to pull but fast you, one. You caught that. No, I caught it, man. You caught that. Froggy then, thought he could throw it past me, bro. Froggy. I, I leant back. I, I was like, uh, Oriel Beckham Jr. I leant back and I caught that, you know? Oh, you caught that far out. Okay. All right. Well, I'm happy with our... our... It's 12 minutes of prediction. So let's just get this straight. So Ultron wins. Ultron wins. That's five points. Five points. We, we, you know, we, we did our best. That's two points. Just, we can't score ourselves yeah, now. Yeah, but we did our best. Yeah, but we get to talk about that okay, after because okay, that's well, when we're, we're that's getting true, what yeah. are we going to get the points for. So okay. if Ultron wins, we get five points. Five points. If the Cataclysm event is that he blows up the Earth, that's 15 points because that's... Or well, everyone on the Earth. I reckon Earth could still be alive like, around, you know? Okay. Okay, but yeah, you're right. We'll say if he blows up the Earth, it's fifteen. we get 15 points because I'm thinking we blow up the Earth. But if it's just something that affects the whole Earth, yeah, we get five points. That's five points. Because that's yeah. pretty vague, but you know... We, yeah, give us yeah, yeah. Points. In, in any in any manner, if there's any effect on Earth in any manner, we still get five points. That's right. So he, he fights Thanos. So if he if he breaks like a twig on Earth, that's five points. Yeah, because <laughs> he, he's affected the Earth. Yeah, you like you know you kill a mosquito back in the day, you don't know what could happen. That's exactly right. So he kills or beats up Thanos to get the stones. That's ten points for sure. And fifteen if he takes Thanos' actual stones. Ta- fifth, bro, no, that's a fifty pointer for sure. <laughs> yeah. If he I takes understand. his actual stones, that's yeah. a fifty pointer because that's not something Marvel will write in. But if they did, we need to get the credit for predicting that. And he goes, "Oh no, my stones." <laughs> if, if he that's a hundred points right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he becomes the real boy. I mean, we sort of seen that there. That's five points. We'll give that five, five points because they've already given us half of that. And then, if uh, International Romanov goes into Stella. Yeah, it's 50 uh, points. 50 points, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Okay, 50 points. And then finally, Ultron is sitting on a chair at the end saying like, look at me, look at what I did. Look at all these, these this lack of strings. And imagine there's all the Avengers at his feet. They're all bowing to him because he's the all-powerful all now. Bro, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's do that. it. All right, all right. All right, so that's 20 points if we get that. That's 20 points. All right, we got Okay, this. all right. Uh, we're going to fade to black and watch this show. Bro, we're talking two-parters. Two, we're talking two-part episodes. Far out. So, Vincent, we're back. We're here to tell them not only how many points we scored, which this is probably our highest scoring. This is definitely our uh, highest scoring points. But we also got the most things correct. Yeah, dude. There's, there's a lot of stuff correct, including words that were used. That's right. Specific words that were used. But we're also here to do a bit of a review on what we saw, mm. what we liked, what we didn't like, the hits and the misses. So, Vincent, should we go through the points first? Let's go through the points. All right. So Ultron won, so we got what, five points there. That's five points. He became a real boy. That's some points. That's uh, I think we're up to twenty now. I'm pretty sure that was fifteen points. Probably. They they went into Stella, maybe briefly, but they went into Stella and they said Interstellar. 
That's right. Someone said interstellar. So we're talking 50 points plus. Like, you know, we're, we're, on, we're on 65 here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that was a 50 point. wild. Because not only did they go interstellar when the cataclysmic event happened, right? Which I'm assuming is, is, is that the, the nuclear bombs that, that went off. Yeah. Right? But also, they later said the word interstellar. I see. That's bonus points for sure. So let's say we're up to 70, just to, just to round it up. Yeah. 65 wasn't good enough. We rounded up to 70. <laughs> I think our, our last one was 19 points. So we're on 70 now. We're getting better at these prediction things. Thanos came into it. Oh, yeah, he- absolutely. Thanos <laughs> came into it and, bro, testicles, 100%. <laughs> Clint, his stone's gone. Like, he sliced him down, which was hilarious bit. That was, that was hilarious. This man's rocked up. He's looking around. He's, he's sussing the... The landscapes. The landscapes. Yeah. He's ready, he's ready to take things over. Yeah, and then it just gets sliced up. He My just goodness. gets sliced and diced. My goodness. From from his forehead down to his stones. Which you, you, you see that, right? You see that occur. And then you think to yourself, could Vision have done that in the, in the movies? Yeah. I know Vision was like, you know, he was injured. He couldn't phase and whatnot. But, I mean, look. You get him to phase. You don't even worry about taking the stone out of his head. You just fix him up. Yeah. And then you just say, just slice him down the middle. Take take all his stones. But yeah, his stones were taken. So we're talking, we're on 100 points at least now. That was, well, no, the stones, that was 150 points, I think. Was that 150 I points? Think, I think so. We have to go back and we won't, but we will have to. All right. All right. We'll round it up to 200. You know we're at I mean? 200 at least. Wait, no, you said 150. We're, we're, we're 250. We're, we're 250, 250. Right? <laughs> We'll just keep it at two fifty, and we'll just that's, say that's that's our point. That's our pointage for yeah, this week. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. So, Vincent, what did you think of this episode? This was wild. You can't tell me this is not wild. Yeah, there was there was a, there was a bit more that happened in this episode. Now, usually the watcher he's just watching things, but but Ultron became so he done messed up. He's he, he should have just been watching and not narrating, yeah. and he would have been fine because because Ultron heard the narration. Yeah, which is too funny. They're hilarious. And I mean, you know, if you're on a planet with no one else on there except for Clint Barn and International Romanov, you're probably going to hear things that you wouldn't have heard before. We well, he wasn't in the planet. He destroyed all the other planets. Oh, that's right. He destroyed everything. He destroyed everything, all yeah. life. Yeah. Which is funny because he hadn't destroyed all life because International Romanov and Clint Barn were still alive. Yeah. So he's, I don't know what happened there. Maybe he w- wasn't scanning Earth because he thought they'd mm-hmm. been dead. But what if someone was at the inter- International Romanov space station? <laughs> Could have been heads up there. There could have been heads up there, doing doing international roaming off things. Can you now, imagine if you were in a space station and you just saw nuclear bombs go off in the entire world and you just this is what do I do? I'm stuck here for a bit at least, you know. <laughs> uh, there's that there's that photo of the guy who's like on the moon and he sees like a meteorite go through Earth and he's like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm what on am the moon. I going to do? Well, lucky I'm on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. What do you do in that situation? You it just could be of, worse. I could have been blown up by a meteor. <laughs> could have been. But you'd also hope, like, have I downloaded enough movies on Netflix? Yeah, but, bro, you haven't got enough oxygen, you know? That's true. But at least you're watching, like, you know, Into the Spider-Verse or Squid Games before <laughs> before you, like, you, you black out. Yeah. You know, you know, losing oxygen would probably be not the baddest way to go, especially if you're in space. You reckon? Yeah, I think so. Because you just, you, you, you fall asleep. Surely you get to a point where you just, oh, man, I'm getting, I'm getting all woozy because I'm, I'm running low on oxygen. Maybe. Bang, you're know. asleep. Bang, you're asleep. Good Bang, games you're dead. The, good games in the background, you know? Apparently you're in red light, green light. Almost got to the light. finale. <laughs> you're in red light, green light. Yeah, apparently that's the thing. I've, I haven't seen Squid Games. Yeah, neither have I. I just love saying Squid Games. Squid Games. So, right. So, if Ultron is able to see the whole multiverse, right? He's obviously going to try to go destroy the whole thing. Yeah, that's his, that's his plan. And then, it's just he's just got unlimited things to destroy. Yeah, he needs... That's right. It's infinite. <laughs> so, so, like, you no, get but that's what he wants because he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't gone to therapy. So that isn't, he doesn't know that true. when he reaches the end goal, that that's that's not going to bring him fulfillment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like he did when he destroyed the the his universe. He was sitting there and he was just thinking, "Bro, I don't feel any better now." <laughs> but also, I'm assuming he knows that because there's infinite universes, there's going to be someone that is. Similar to him, if not infinitely stronger than him. Yeah, if there's infinite possibilities, then someone's going to be able to kill him. That's right. And he'll be like, "Well, I, you know, I got to kill them first. I got to, I got to kill them when they're a kid." <laughs> that's what he's thinking. <laughs> and that's what he would think. 
and he'll do sneak attacks. But how many kids can you kill before like one of them kills you? Mm. You know what I mean? Ultron doesn't know about that. The, the, look, the, here's the thing about the episode. This is my hits and my misses. One, I like, you know, I love seeing, I love seeing Natasha International Romanov. I love seeing Clint Barton. Just I wish he didn't just sacrifice him at the end. He didn't need to either. I know. Because, I mean, <laughs> look, at the end of the day, International Romanov is there by herself. Yeah. I mean, he's, she's got Gianfranco Zola mm-hmm. next to him, next to her, doing AI <laughs> things with no legs. Yeah. But she needs some, some human interaction. Yeah. So if not doing it for, for yourself, do it for... International. International, that's right. The, the, the challenge that I think with that, the way that he went as well, was he didn't need to die for them to all be stopped because he, he's, the, the arrow that he used was big it enough was, to stop them It was blown up either way. <laughs> like, why didn't he just shoot them and just be like, let's just talk about this for five I think he just, didn't, he just didn't want to live anymore. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. He said, I, mean, I haven't been able to grow my hair out into <laughs> Ronan cut, so I don't want to live anymore. And, you know, did, like I was thinking about it as the move, as the show was going on. Food is one thing that would affect me the most. Yeah. Because it's not like you can be just going to the grocery store, there's going to be cans there because everything's being blown up. Yeah. And they're all irradiated. It's like fallout. Yeah, you, you, you get some food, you get some health, you get some radiation. Yeah, dude. And also there's no animals. Well, if there are animals there, there's some mutated animals. Mm. You know, they got six eyes. Which, like, I mean, if that's good eating, you know, if you like, if you're an eyes man, that's good eating. It's good eating. I'm not an eyes man at all. I mean, I've never had eyes. I don't choose oh. to have eyes regularly. But, you know, some people do culturally. But the, the, you know, what what is there? Who are they? Like, I understand, you know, they're fighting because they're humans. They fight, but then what? I guess they can repopulate. I guess they can start again because <laughs> it's a man and a woman. That's correct. And, you know, when a man loves a woman. <laughs> They can repopulate. As long as man doesn't get his stones <laughs> chopped in half, oh. then you're good. Uh, this is true. Yeah. Lucky, lucky Thanos wasn't the man who was needed right. to <laughs> repopulate. <laughs> yeah, now this was a wild episode. I think it was just all hits for me. Even even the the, the watcher being like, oh my God, I fight now. Like, they should call me the fighter. They should call me the fighter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, the watcher as a character, I don't really like him as a character. I think he, he does too many dumb things. Like the, the, and why is it? What's with the, the perpetual narration? And it's not even. Yeah. I don't well, the, the part of the episode where they're looking through the KGB files, and there's the you know, oh my god, John Franco. Sh- should I, should I intervene? No, I can't. I'm the watcher. I only watch and narrate sometimes. And he's like, look, it's right there. It is simply right there. Like he's saying, and I understand. You know, the watcher's meant to be us. Like that's the whole thing here. Yeah, but he's stressed though. He's stressed because now the watcher's not meant to be us. That's right. Yes. Unless we get pulled into. Can you imagine if Ultron just rocks up into this studio right here and he just pulls one of us into some like shard thing? Yeah. Well, if what? that happened to you, I'd just be like, what? <laughs> so anyway, thanks for listening. <laughs> right, surely you'd make a podcast out of that, you know? I'd make a podcast. Yeah. My, my mate got abducted by, by Ultron. And you know... You- what if dot, 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 Ultron abducted my mate? <laughs> And then there's video evidence of it happening. So you're like, there's no what if here. It, it happened. <laughs> so if I got abducted, right, would you search for me or would you just be like, this is this is a whole podcast series that I can make that people would actually watch and listen to? If there was a shard, like a portal open like they had in yeah, there, yeah. I'd probably put my head in. <laughs> or would you just turn one camera to that and just like, let's just see whoever comes out. You stay here for a 24-hour set. Yeah, you- I'd, I'd get a really long cable. Chuck the phone in, do a bit of filming, pull it back out. Yeah, you you pull it in there, and it's just it's a, it's it's the square table, right? The wooden square table. Ultron's on one side, I'm on the other side. Ultron's <laughs> like, "Welcome to another episode." <laughs> He's like, "Bro, this was so good. I saw it in my multi. I had to bring oh, it in. Bro, I had to bring it in. I had to bring it in. And it's just it's just the building. As soon as you go out the door, there's just nothing. Nothingness. Yeah. But he's just there with the podcast. So uh, how many listens have we got, Ultron? Oh, no, it's just me. <laughs> There's someone that's alive here. I've just done it for my own entertainment. I'm, I'm glad I did. C- can I go back? I-, I miss my friends and family. Bro, no, we, we've got six seasons, in a, six seasons in a movie. We're just about to do cast three. We've done one, two. Now we're just going to do three. <laughs> you're going to just do three and then I'll, I might think about taking you back. Bro, that would be hilarious. And you're just, you're just witnessing all this happening. 
I'm just waiting to see. I mean, and I'm just there, just just listening to the podcast because it's a great podcast. And he doesn't want you in because he's like, then you'll take my spot. You know? Yeah, that's right. He'll bring you in as a guest occasionally. Yeah, yeah. So when the Watcher is fighting Ultron, this is probably my favorite bit of it because when the Watcher is fighting Ultron, Ultron starts to overpower the Watcher and just starts slapping him into different universes, literally slapping the man, and a yeah. new universe will come up. Then a new, new another universe will come up. And then there's a scene where there looks what looks like the Milky Way. Yeah. And Ultron is massive and eats the Milky Way. Are we talking about like the way that they're going to... Introduce Galactus. Introduce Galactus is that it's going to be a, a version of Ultron? Bro, it could just be Ultron. Maybe this is now the, the universe that is going to come into the, the current MCU. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This could have significant effects on the... Yeah, bro, we thought, we thought this was just a, a spin-off series that yeah. didn't, didn't have anything to do with anything, but now the Watcher is not just watching. Is he's he? going to he's gonna pull up to, to Nick Fury and be like, Mr. Fury, please, assemble <laughs> assemble another team. Mr. Fury is just, he's just like, bro, I'm, I've retired. You know, I've got my I got my 401k <laughs> or whatever they got in the US. <clears throat> yeah. I'm, I'm sorted now. Yeah, dude, he's got his pension. He's got his pension. He's got his pension. He's, he's got like a, a more casual thing over his eye, more casual eye patch. Yeah, it's got like a Hawaiian shirt pattern. <laughs> yeah, he's got, like, you, see, you see this eye patch? <laughs> Bro, I'm in the Bahamas. I'm just just living life now. But, you know, the fact that we are going into Multiverse Man, so we are going into the next Spider-Man movie, which will be affecting the Multiverse. This is, this is wild and it's so exciting. There's only one way, like, you know, you've asked, you know, not you, but specifically people have asked, how are they going to bring in... How are they going to bring in, you know, the Fantastic Four, given that they're such a massive part of the universe, but no one's heard about them? You know what Different I mean? Different universe. Different universe. How are you Different. going to bring in Blade, a man that kills Draculas? Different, <laughs> D- Different universe. Different universe. Kills Draculas, specifically. Specifically. He goes to universes. Hey, are you Dracula? No, I'm just a regular vampire. All right, can you point me in the direction of Dracula? <laughs> oh, that's him over there. Dude, that's what I want to see. I want to see a multiverse of madness, but it's just it's Blade just Blade just going Draculas. from, from <laughs> multiverse to multiverse, from, from universe to universe, yeah. killing Draculas. And the best thing about it will be the Draculas won't see it coming. No, they'll just see a man. Oh man, this, this, that trench coat looks all right. Like me as a Dracula would enjoy that as well. <laughs> oh my god, I've been stabbed in the heart. And then the one Dracula that would have you know see it coming will be a, a, a universe where Dracula's dress in like. Fluoro outfits and you got a man in a trench coat you're going bro that's sus as hell <laughs> like me as a Dracula would not wear that because we specifically that's wear right. fluoro outfits we specifically wear 70s rave outfits <laughs> he's like, got a windbreaker on dude, it's like purple and blue yeah he's got apple bottom jeans he's got Bo- apple bottom Bo- jeans fur, you know Flowrider's there <laughs> Flowrider's like I am Dracula he's just <laughs> Flowrider is Dracula <laughs> in this universe yeah dude All right. shout out Flo but was this your favourite episode so far? Because by, by the sounds of it, it was. I think it was my favourite episode. I did <laughs> still really love the Doctor Strange one, and I'm just thinking, what are the other? What are the, they did other episodes, didn't they? Zombies was pretty cool. Oh, I really like the Tony Stark one as well. The Killmonger one? Killmonger, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. What if Earth lost the Mightiest Heroes? Oh, that was all right until it was just, Nick, you killed Hope, Nick Fury. I'll kill all your mates. <laughs> Yeah, what if Killmonger was probably up that there was as a well? really good one, but yeah, I think this is my favorite. And the best part about it is that they are creating more of a story here mm. because Doctor Strange comes into it late in the episode and he's like, "Look, we're going to have to work together." Doctor Strange, man, that's going to be wild. How cool will it be if they create like a multiverse Avengers and they're getting into all the other oh, and universes? It's, and it's John Franco Zola with no legs. Yeah. The ta- international Romanov or inter, inter universe Romanov mm-hmm. now. Yeah. The Watcher and evil Doctor Strange. And you've got to get someone else just to put it up to five. Yeah, it's just that duck that pops up How here the and duck? there. How the duck? How the duck? Is there just drinking martinis? <laughs> but he's there. Yeah. And that's the main thing. He tried. And someone smacks him and he goes, bro, now my, now my martini is shaken, not stirred. And then he'll smack him in the face or something. Well, he could do that. He could Should do we that. do like a martini taste test for the new James Bond movie that's come out? No, thanks. Okay, that's fair enough. So, Vincent, where do you think, what do you think happens next? I know we're, gonna, we're obviously going to predict this in the next episode, yeah, but what do let's I predict having... now. Well, obviously, I think that they have to make it so the good people win. 
because otherwise then it's well I mean if they just say this is this is a different multiverse I guess I could do that but I think I think it's too early to be that confusing in the televisual slash cinematic universe yeah mm-hmm. so I just think they're gonna they're gonna get a, a like you said I reckon they're gonna get a multiversal Avengers mm-hmm. and they're just gonna smack the av- he's gonna smack the stones off <laughs> off uh, Ultron off Ultron because yeah, well, he's a real boy now. They they gave him stones for sure. <laughs> they were like thinking about it. Like they, were, they could tick a box, like stones yeah. or no stones. They were like, it was an option. It was it was like a DLC. They just they just tick stones. They just tick stones. I agree that that could happen, but also, how many episodes? Do you know how many episodes we got of this left? I don't know. Me neither. So <laughs> this could like the next episode could be the last episode. It would make it sense be. that the next episode is the last episode, unless they make it like a three parter. Because if say if you do this one in which the Watcher's doing things mm. other than watching. You can't then just do an episode where he's like, I can only watch. Yeah, that's right. You, you can't know? go back to that. <laughs> you can't go back to that. You can't Because there's only one Watcher, presumably. And that's the thing. I, I, I'm assuming there'd be more because mans can't watch everything. Yeah, it's but, an infinite amount of universes. Surely there's going to be an infinite amount of Watchers. Nah, nah. I think he's he's the only Watcher, but he can... I mean, these are beings that... We, we do not have a grasp on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They can be watching everything at the same time. He could be fighting Ultron in this universe and then you could just be watching. He's just watching the next one. He's just there staring. <laughs> and he's like, you know, I should probably be putting all my energy into this. But like, Yeah, and the back of his cool. mind is just like, ah, oh, left, right, you know, do uppercut. So. <laughs> that's why he messed up. Yeah. That's why he messed up. No, okay. So let's say the next episode is the last episode. They get the Avengers together. They slap the stones off of Ultron. Yeah. And then they, they, they destroy him, saving the universe, but at what cost? At what cost? Or at the multiverse, sorry, but at what cost? I was thinking Zola was going to take over Ultron and be like, well, I'm Ultron now. Imagine that happens and you're just like, we're just back at square one We're now. just back at square one. What's the point, you know? What's, there's, there's no point. Because there's right, no Hydra. There's no, no. There's, no, there's no nothing. Hmm. But I guess, again, you know, I'm saying, why would they want to fight for this earth? Because, like, you got to make a TV show out of it. That's right. And also, what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? I mean, other than just lay down. Mm. Just I mean, they could have just repopulated there. Oh. Really? Maybe that's the plan. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe they were just like, let's take out Ultron first, so then, you know, we don't have any distractions. Yeah, like we can put Do Not Disturb on the, <laughs> the door, and no one will disturb. We don't have, like, one of them sentries come in. No. Because there'll be a hotel that's somewhere. Ultron, get, get the heck out of here, Ultron. <laughs> Look at the sign, Ultron. It says, "Oh, bro, sorry, man. <laughs> Unless you're bringing room service in, Ultron, don't don't come in exactly right now. Exactly. You know, when the towers are rocking, don't come and knock. And that's what they're going to say because, like, the towers, the the beams, they're 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 half melted. Oh, the towers. Yeah, I thought you said the towels. <laughs> I'm thinking, well, why would the towels be rocking? Because it's like this is for kids. Like they're going to be wearing towels. While yeah, they're doing anything, yeah, you know, fair enough. they're romantic. The, the towers are rocking. They're just yeah. dancing in towers. They're just dancing in towers. That's right. So, Vincent, that is that is that is what I think will happen. I this think that wild. this is the best episode just because of how wild it is, but also because we got to see that Doctor Strange, the one that's a squid as well. Yeah, that was that was probably, you know what, that's probably my second favorite episode, the Doctor Strange one. Yeah, that was amazing. And because you're a fan of squid games as well, so like, oh, absolutely, you saw that. I love all types of squids. You know, yeah. calamaries, oh. like cuttlefish, bro. All kinds, of, all kinds of cephalopods, like cephalopods. Yeah, hundred percent. Cephalop. Yep. Vincent, is this the part where we tell them where this they? This is can the find part. Us? This is the part. So also, wait, just quickly, just can I see the what if picture? I was going to say, there's other heads here. So there's obviously one of Gamora becoming Thanos. Yeah, but that's that's probably the one that we didn't watch. Oh yeah, probably. What else we got? We got Ultron there. We got. Bro, I reckon that's it, man. I reckon that's got to be it, unless they update this every time. No, I think Which, that's been that's been what it's been. So you reckon that number seven was that? Okay, anyway, well, you can find us on YouTube, which we are now, if you're watching. So like and subscribe. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're also on all podcasting places. So Apple all Podcasts, give us a review on Apple Podcasts, subscribe on Spotify as well. We also do Patreon content. So if you like this and you want to hear us talk about just random occurrences in our daily life where Apple has interesting encounters with strangers in bathrooms. <laughs> it's happened on multiple occasions. It's happened. It's, happened. it's, not, it's, yeah. not, it's not as, as R-rated as you no. think. It's not devious. In no, any, it's, in just, it's just uh, strange characters. <laughs> and oh, follow us on Instagram. 
That's all. You got to follow us on Twitter as well. Oh, on Twitter, yeah, yeah. The Twitter's going off. Twitter's going off, bro. The Twitter yeah. is going off. Yeah, bro, bro. You got like two likes, and me and you. I know, it. and me and you liked it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like one retweet by me. You know what I mean? I think I retweeted as well. So oh, two that, retweets. That's two two likes. retweets. Yeah, that's quality. All right. Farewell. S- see you next oh, time. What is it? Talk, talk soon. soon. <laughs>